YouTubers, um, you know their vlogmas is more um, consistent. It's every day they're, they're pushing out vlogs, and I would love to get that level up. I'm hoping that's definitely one of my goals for um, 2020. But that's a whole different video. Um, you guys can miss my face for a few days, um, and I'm gonna talk about that in the next video. But you guys came here today for Christmas decor, and I think I mentioned before in my um, decorate with me for fall that I might have been doing a little bit more for Christmas, but I changed my mind. I like the minimal look, the, the minimalistic look. Um, I'm, I still do the rustic theme, but I didn't do as much. I stuck to the um, living area, like the entertainment area where people, if they were to visit me or where I am most of the time in my apartment, um, where I am, this is where you're gonna see most of the Christmas decor. I had dreams and aspirations to make my kitchen really cute and the dining area really cute and also my um, work um, area really cute, but I was like, you know what, I just not this time. I will be decorating um, and revamping certain those areas um, for 2020, but again, those are different videos, those are different content for you guys. But I think you guys will like um, what I did with my space. Okay, so I'm gonna just start with uh, where I'm sitting right now, the couch. So as soon as you walk in, you see the living room area. And I chose to um, take out the pillows that I had. I had a yellow pillow and a more neutral tone pillow as well. I chose to go with um, this furry, like this faux fur pillow and it's brown, it's neutral. I chose this because it, I guess I have this painting here. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys in my last video as well. But I had this painting here and I didn't want to take it down for the holidays. I didn't want to find a new holiday picture. I really want this to be how I decorate for winter, spring, summer, and fall. I want to bounce off those colors. And I just thought their pretty brown faces would go great with this neutral tone um, faux fur pillow. Next, I chose, oh, and that's also from Burlington. Um, all of my pillows were less than $15. Um, so yeah, Burlington as well. I chose this um, plaid uh, buffalo check. No, I have a buffalo check. A uh, plaid uh, pillow and it has a um, neutral tone, it says family. And the other side, um, they have these uh, buttons. One just came on today, I gotta sew it back on. But I love that the, there's brown buttons right here. And I just thought it, it, it looks super cute this way and super cute on um, the family way. So um, I really love that. My couch is like a neutral gray, um, dark um, gray tone. Then I also, I don't know if you guys remember, um, I had a white throw, a white faux fur, faux fur blanket right here. And I just chose, I wanted something like this. This is obviously a lighter faux fur. But I wanted something that would um, just blend and marry well. Not too matchy-matchy, I don't like that. But I wanted um, a blanket that just to make it more cozier than the right one. 
on the white one is gonna come back, you know, for the winter months. But I'll be, you guys will see. Um, but yeah, that's where I got this. And it's also from Burlington as well. I wanna say this was $12.99. I took off all my tags. You guys, you guys realize I decorated it back in November. So a lot of this stuff is, you know, gone. And uh, like, you know, all the packaging and stuff that it came in um, is gone, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, that's just a living space area. I have this um, very, very cozy um, Woodwick candle right here. Uh, the Woodwick candles, if you didn't know, they are some of my, sec they come close, a very close second to my Bath and Body Works candles. Um, and that's because they make a fireplace sound and I don't, you guys probably can't hear it, but it just has a nice crackling sound. And the scent is actually called Fire Cider. I'm in love with that. And that just creates a vibe, okay? Moving forward, let's jump right into the, um, my coffee table area. Um, and I'll just put it right here so you guys can see it as I'm talking. Um, okay, so I have from the dollar spot um, in Target, I have this very, very pretty mini flock tree. I wish I could have went with a flock tree this year, but I also love the tree I have. Um, no shake to my tree. But um, yeah, that was $3. I had this Christmas cookie swap cookbook. I think that goes really, really cute right there. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll make some cookies out of the cookbook and you guys can see that as I follow a recipe. But I think that I love the colors. The colors go very well with my red and neutral brown. And it's just, yeah, really rustic, really cute. You guys know um, that Jenga, that mini Jenga set just stays there. I think it's just entertainment for guys. I've been looking for a wooden tic tac correction. And it's inexpensive uh, wooden tic tac toe for if I have guests over. And I always keep a Bath and Body Works candle right there because you never know when you want to keep the scents going. There's also a room spray right there that's also from Target. Um, and that was $7.99 and it has the same amber. Um, what is it? Passion fruit and amber. And it just, that's my one of my favorite scents right now. When I'm not lighting that candle, I can just spray that and it just, it smells super, super good. And yeah, um, so the tree in the cookbook came from the dollar spot and Target and those other things you guys know are just my possession. That um, tray, that serving tray is also from, I wanna say TJ Maxx. I uh, I got that a couple years ago. And I think I like the white, how the white just kind of has as a pop of color to my dark tones that I have going on. Right behind that on my TV stand, I decided to do um, a garland, a um, pine cone garland. And that's actually from the Dollar Tree, you guys. You do not have to spend oogabs and oogabs of money on your Christmas decor. That is from Dollar Tree. If you guys didn't know, um, at home, places like At Home and Michaels and Joanne Fabrics, Garland is up there. It's over $20, over $25 actually. And I decided to go with that. It was just one stinking dollar. And then I decided to do fairy lights um, all around that just to create a nice cozy effect. I don't have a fireplace. Um, I think it came together really, really well. And those fairy lights came from Five Below. They are $5 and I love that. And then I also have this little choo-choo train that I got from the Dollar Tree and it says Christmas. Oh no, not Dollar Tree, it came from Burlington. That was about $4.99 and I just love how that came together. And all I gotta do is I want to have like the fireplace uh, aesthetic. You can just go on YouTube, you guys, if you do not have, I'm pretty sure you guys, most of you guys know this by now. You can go right on YouTube and select fireplace and, and it will go on for 10 plus hours, you guys. And I love that. It creates the most cozy feel. I can just curl up right here on my couch with a book or a Sudoku or paint my nails or my toes. I might actually do that today uh, when I'm finished, but I love that. It creates a vibe. That letter board is also from the dollar spot section in Target. It, right now it just says Vlogmas next. There weren't enough words to say door, but you guys get the gist. Um, maybe I'll switch, out, switch around the words so I can say something more festive. But that was also, I told you, $5, right? And I just love that area. I don't think it needs anything else. I do have those empty spaces underneath the garland that I probably could have did like a cute village or some snow, but I just love the vibe it's giving. And then, 
we have my tree. Okay, it's a fake tree. It's it says it's seven feet, but I feel like it's more like five and a half feet up to six feet of a tree. It's green. Um, I did the rustic thing again from last year. So if you are an OG neighbor next door, um, you know I went the rustic thing last year. The only difference this year is that I added in some of those um, some snow, some some artificial snow, and I got the idea from um, at Paige Dan at Paige Danielle. I love her channel. Um, I just went to Dollar Tree and got the um, dusters. And I just put them in random spots around the tree. It could use a little bit more, but I didn't want, I wanted to look like, I don't know, the snow had melted and just those little patches were still there. Um, white lights, I don't like the multicolor lights at all. It's crazy because I grew up on, my tree used to be all multicolored, all family oriented with different um, ornaments and things like that. And I love that look. Um, again, when I am blessed with a, a larger household, I will have, I'll probably have multiple trees in my home. I probably, I will. And um, so yeah, all white lights. I had the lanterns, all the cute like other ornaments are from Dollar Tree. I have one that says the A. Um, I do have a few at home from the moose. And you know, it's like a burlap. And the only, um, so besides the snow, the only thing that I added in there was those pretty berries, those pretty burgundy berries. I love that. And I don't know why I never did that before, but those are from Dollar Tree as well. And I feel, oh, and I wrapped, um, as you guys can see, I still didn't put with my candles and my Fat Fit Fun Box that's still under the tree. But I just wrapped that, that same throw, I just wrapped it under um, my tree for my tree skirt. I don't have a tree topper. But that's all I did with my tree and I am in love. It's so simple, it's not full. And that's because I didn't want a full tree. Um, I was in Ikea one day and they had like the, the, the pretty, their pretty simplistic tree and it was so gappy, it was almost borderline like Charlie Brown, but you know, a sophisticated Charlie, I'm sorry, it's here, I'm sorry. I keep playing my face, cause it's, okay. The tree was really, really, really gappy. And I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cute. Like, I'm on Pinterest all the time and I see everyone with their different versions of trees. Really, really full, beautiful trees. Very, very simple trees. I just love them all. I think if it just goes with your style, it goes with your style. And yeah, this is my tree. I love, I'm in love with it. Right over there where I keep my candles and my wax melts, um, I kept the rain boots there, the porcelain rain boots from last year's dollar spot. And I added in that, um, the little red truck with the tree in it. That's really popular this year, the, the little red truck. Um, so I got that from Burlington, it was about $5. And that's pretty much all I did this year, guys. That's all I went with, very, very simple. Um, I love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Trust me, you will see me very, very soon. You will see me tomorrow, in fact. Um, so I can talk about some other things. So just a, a check-in of how I'm feeling this holiday season and just some different things. So uh, yeah, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Ember Next Door and become a lifelong a neighbor comment down below your theme issue that you're going with for Christmas where you like to shop for your decor um hit the notification bell so you know whenever next door is coming to your door and I think that's about it share with your family and friends get out of here I will see you sooner than later I love you guys so much bye